Nobody wants an unreliable car. So what should you buy if you want to avoid a letdown? Or worse, a breakdown? Thanks to data from JD Power's 2017 UK Vehicle Dependability Study, here's the CarWow Top 10 Things You Need to Know About Reliability. JD Power surveyed 12,000 people who own cars registered between February 2014 and April 2016. The cars were then scored in eight categories, including bodywork, seats, engine and transmission. Dodgy lights were among the faults that cropped up most often. Glitchy infotainment systems also annoyed drivers, especially when Bluetooth connections didn't work properly. But which are the most reliable cars in each class? There was a tie for third in the city car class between the Volkswagen Up and Kia Picanto. The Hyundai i10 took second, and the Peugeot 108 slipped into first place as easily as it'll get into a tiny parking space. In the small car category, the Hyundai i20 took third place. The Suzuki Swift scored a strong second, but it was a fab result for the Skoda Fabia, which came out in first place. The Toyota Aris made it into the top three for dependability in the compact car class, but the Mazda 3's second place shows that dependability doesn't have to cramp your style. In first though was the Volvo V40. It was the car that left its owners feeling the sweetest. Get it, sweetest, sweetest? Duh, never mind. The Honda Jazz was rated third best in the small MPV category, bumped out of second place by the Ford B-Max, but it was Vauxhall that scooped top honors with the roomy Mariva. The Mercedes C-Class and Volkswagen Passat both scored well in the mid-sized car class, but the Vauxhall Insignia was the car which pleased its owners the most. When it comes to dependability in the large car class, the Mercedes E-Class came third. Second place was the BMW 5 Series, but first place went to the Jaguar XF. So that's how the individual car scored, but how did each brand fare overall? JD Power ranked each car manufacturer based on the number of faults flagged up by owners. The industry average was 131 faults per 100 cars. 15 brands were above the industry average, including Mercedes on 129 faults, Jaguar on 127, Mini on 124, Volkswagen on 121, and Nissan on 118 faults. The 10th most reliable brand was Mazda, averaging 117 faults per 100 cars. 9th was Seat with 113, with Peugeot on 110. Vauxhall scored 108, Toyota 105 faults, Hyundai just 97, and Suzuki 92. In third place overall was Skoda with an average of 89 faults per 100 cars. But tied in first place with just 83 faults per 100 cars was Kia and Volvo. Now though, for a less prestigious title of the least dependable brands. Ford and Honda sit in equal ninth with 136 faults per 100 vehicles. Next was Renault with 138, Mitsubishi with 139, Citroen scored 148 faults per 100 cars, while Dacia 151 and Fiat 165 faults per 100 cars. The third least dependable brand was Land Rover, with 175 faults per 100 cars. The second least dependable brand was Audi, with 187 faults per 100 cars. And the least dependable brand overall was BMW. It had 198 faults per 100 cars. That's an average of almost two faults for every single BMW in the survey. Not great then. Still, we must just highlight that most of the faults were quite minor. We're not talking major engine or gearbox failures here. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you've turned on notifications so you get our videos first. Also, click on the windows for more video content.